everybody and welcome to the next episode of our brand new podcast series, The Student Voice. Today, I am delighted to be joined by fourth year digital marketing student, Brian. Brian is going to give us an insight into his four years here at AIT, why he chose to study here and a little bit about his transition to third level. So Brian, how are you today? Hi Claire, how are you? Good though, just I'm relaxing. Good, you're relaxing, enjoying the break after submitting your last assignments. Yeah, loving life. Brilliant, brilliant. So Brian, we're going to go right back to yourself in sixth year and will you give me a little bit of an insight into why you chose to study here at AIT? Yeah, I'm actually from Athlone, so I decided to go to the college and talk to someone about business related courses. So at the time there was general business, business psychology and digital marketing. And the woman I spoke to actually recommended me going to digital marketing because she thought that's where most work will be. And digital marketing also has um, subjects of business, marketing, IT, and then creative modules as well. So it had a bit more of a vast range. So I thought that was the nicest one to go into. Yeah, brilliant. It seems like from what you described there, you had loads of different avenues you could kind of specialize in. You got to dip your toes in loads of different areas throughout your degree. Yeah, yeah. There was, I know first year might be a bit daunting for some people because it relies a bit more heavily on the business studies. Like there's maths and then there's economics as well. But like they're only beginner courses and like every, everyone will fly them. And even if you're having difficulties, there's tutors there as well to help you by. So if you're looking for more of the creative aspects, that comes in later in first year, second year, third year. And if you do the add-on as well, it's there in fourth year. Brilliant, brilliant, Brian. And did you find the transition to third level hard from secondary school or did you find it kind of similar? Um, I preferred it. I, I like college a lot better than secondary school. Like I wasn't the biggest fan of secondary school, but I'm a really social person. So like even going into college the first day, like chatting to new people, like I found it good. And like the more people I know, the better. So it wasn't too daunting for me. And I think it was, it's a, it's a lot nicer than secondary school. And you have a lot more freedom as well with college too. Like to let the teachers aren't always on your back. So you do your work in your own time. And if you want to do it, you can which hopefully you do. Brilliant. And are you a part of the gym that's available here at AIT, Brian? Yeah, the facilities in the gym are really good. They're probably one of the best in Ireland. So I love there. I probably spent nearly every day in there in the past four years. Like, yeah, that's really good. And if you're interested in the gym or any sport and activities, there's so many things. So yeah, it's, it's Athlone's a really nice place to go if, you wanna, if you're into sports or the gym. Brilliant. And if anyone is watching, Brian, that, as you said, is interested in the gym, is the price discounted for students? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's nearly half price. I think for a full year, not even two semesters, it might be like 170 euro or something like that. So it's really cheap and it's really good facilities as well. So, and if you if you get a scholarship or anything, I'm pretty sure it's free. So if you're Brilliant. good enough. Perfect. So you found that really the social side of college was definitely something that burst your bubble and been such a social person, as you said, AIT was definitely for you. Yeah, 100%. Like even going into the canteen, like, I know in third and fourth year, like you just know so many more people and you can often sit at two or three tables because you just know everybody and it's so nice. So yeah, the social side is definitely one of the best things. Brilliant, brilliant. And did you find a lot of people, I know that you're obviously from Athlone, but a lot of people often say that AIT is definitely your home away from home. Could you say that AIT was nearly your second home in Athlone? Yeah, a hundred percent because I actually moved out from my home house as well. So I moved closer to the college. So it was great. and. Yeah, it, def it definitely is. Like a lot of people from Athlone don't actually go to the college. So you meet loads of new people anyway. So if you're from Athlone and you're thinking of going to the college, like you definitely should because you're going to meet so many new people. Brilliant. And I think that's a really good piece of advice for anyone who is from Athlone that might be a little bit nervous about going to AI. That you will definitely meet loads of other people that aren't just from Athlone. Yeah, it'll take you out of your comfort zone. And there's so many, there's so many nice places around Athlone as well to move into. So you have loads of options. And even if you have any friends, you can move into a house with them as well if, if you wanted not to stay at home. So it's great. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, Brian. And would you give any first years listening any advice that are going into digital marketing? Is there anything that you might have done a little bit differently in your first year? Um, I think you need to be very open to doing stuff because there are some things that are going to take you out of your comfort zone. Like I'm not a very creative person, but the modules let you put your own spin on things. So like, as I was saying earlier, I'm really into health and fitness. So like you, you can do anything in them. And yeah, it's just be open to doing new things. 
Brilliant. I think it's kind of what you're saying there is nearly put your own swing on it and find some way that you'll interest in do and put your own swing on the modules, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Brilliant. And Brian, as someone from Aglon, is there any advice that you could give someone who's going into the college? As you said earlier, you went in and chatted to people about the degree. Did you find that that helped you make the decision to choose digital marketing? Yeah, massively, because I didn't, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I know I was interested in business related stuff, but like I wasn't too sure. I obviously had the background in health as well. So I, did, I think going and chatting to her was a really good decision and she'll lead you in the right direction and she'll give her her opinion. Like she probably knows a lot more than you will. So yeah, if, if you can come down to Athlone or if you're from Athlone, talking to someone is definitely a great idea. Brilliant. And Brian, is there any standout moment for you over the last four years at AIT that you'll carry with you throughout the rest of your life? As I was saying earlier, I just, I just love the canteen really. And like in terms of module wise, like digital marketing, we always had presentations and stuff and I was always terrible at them, but I always thought they were really funny and like everyone's so nervous, but they're, they're a really good experience. And it's always good to be, be able to present yourself as well to people, especially in interviews and stuff when you're older as well. So yeah, it's yeah probably... definitely. I think um, your little piece there about presentations is really true. I think in third level, you get thrown into the deep end of presentations and everyone yeah. will be so nervous, but it's all right. Everyone is basically in the same boat. Yeah, everyone's laughing by the end of them. So it's always good. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And was there a lot of group work involved in your degree? Brian, did you do lots with your classmates or was it all kind of single based assignments? Yeah, no, there's a lot There's a lot of group work in digital marketing because in the industry you're going into, you are working with a lot of other people. It's very rare you'll be working on your own unless you have your own business. So, yeah, there's a lot of group work. So, be have look to improve your social skills and you'll fly it. Brilliant. Perfect. I think that's a really good insight as well into anyone who's looking at digital marketing who might think, okay, it is involved in group work, but you get a good insight into it throughout the degree and then you're prepared going out and you have the skills for the workforce itself. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you do. You need to be able to work with people. And I'd say, I'd say there's definitely two or three group projects modules every year. So yeah, it's, it's good. You get to know Excellent. new people from other courses as well, doing that as well. So Okay, brilliant. So Brian, I think that was a really nice insight into digital marketing and also a little bit about how you as someone from Athlone found the transition to AIT, that you can make it as much of a college experience as you want. As you said, you moved out and you've had it's just as much of an experience as someone who has gone maybe further afield. Yeah. Perfect. So we leave it up there, Brian. So thank you so much for joining us on this episode Thanks, of the Living Voice uh, podcast. And thank you so much and best of luck with your assessments. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Brian.